Apple Maps was introduced over 10 years ago, and it had some problems. But these days, it is a very detailed map of the world, and it is full of features you probably don't know about. Number one, you can navigate a city in augmented reality. Walking directions aren't as easy to follow as driving directions, but it couldn't be any more foolproof than using AR. After you have your directions up and running, you tap the AR button in the top right. You'll have to scan your phone around a little bit to help it identify the city streets, and then it'll start overlaying your upcoming turns and street names on the camera. It's really cool. It's only supported in a few major cities, and it does drain the battery a lot, but if you need some extra help getting around, I highly recommend it. Number two, you can easily switch between a driving map and a public transportation map. Tap the button in the top right, and you can easily switch between the two. You can turn off these overlays by using the Explore feature, or you can use satellite imagery by tapping satellite. Number three, indoor maps. Airports and shopping malls are my personal first and second rings of hell, but they're a little easier to navigate if you have an indoor map. It's super easy to find your gate, the terminal, baggage claim, nearby bathrooms. You can even select through different levels and see different floor maps. And in shopping malls, you can filter stores by category and easily navigate the interior layout. Number four, report police and roadside hazards. So as you're driving on the highway, you might receive one of these alerts of an upcoming police speed check or a car crash on the road. These come in because other people have diligently reported them. So as you're driving, just tap the menu button, tap report an incident, and pick one of the three. Apple's made it really easy to do without distracting you too much on the road. You know, just make sure the police don't see you do it. Number five, compass mode. So you don't have directions on, but you are using your phone to navigate around, and the fact that it's always pointing north can make it hard to figure out what's left and what's right. Tap the little location arrow, and it'll center on your location. Tap it again, and it'll always orient the map to match the direction you're facing. It's really handy. Number six, avoid highways and tolls. There's a lot of reasons you might want to do this. Maybe you're taking an e-bike and it isn't highway illegal. Maybe you don't have any cash in your car for the toll road. Well, tap the avoid button as you're planning your route and just check avoid highways or avoid tolls as you go. It'll automatically create a new route for you. Number seven, so you want to book a table at a restaurant this weekend, but like, come on, who wants to call people for that? Well, if you see the reserve button, then you can select the size of your party, pick a date and time, and book a table entirely within Apple Maps. But how do you get there? Well, when you're setting your directions, you pick Rideshare from this menu right here. And if you have Uber or Lyft or some other ride-sharing app installed, it'll automatically call a ride from inside Apple Maps. Number eight, guides. So you can make a list of all your favorite spots around town, just for reference for yourself or for sharing it with other people. Scroll down and click add a new guide, you want to give it a name, and tap create. Tap add a place and you can search for a restaurant or point of interest to add. Anywhere else you can search for a place, tap the more button, and tap add to guides and add it from there. After you've filled it out a little more, you can tap the edit button to add a picture to your guide, you can select and delete some items, and you can tap the share button to send it along to your friends. Leander Canny has made a guide of Silicon Valley in the Bay Area, and I've made a guide of Athens, Ohio. You can check both of these out using the links in the video description, along with an article version of these tips. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.